How to Overcome Jealousy in a Relationship We're going to talk about jealousy today. How to get over jealousy in a relationship is something that I know a lot of people go through and a lot of people deal with. I think it's important to understand that jealousy is based on fear and insecurity, and it often has nothing to do with the other person. You might see the other person getting a lot of attention from someone, or maybe someone approached that person, or you might see that person with someone else, and it makes you feel a certain way. It might make you feel jealous or insecure. One thing I've learned is that when external events happen in our lives and they make us feel a certain way, it's usually because we're reacting to them emotionally. Blaming the other person actually makes you less attractive to that person and creates more conflict. When you take a step back and look at yourself and ask, why am I feeling this way? What about this made me respond and react this way? Where is this fear coming from? You can define it, identify it, and find out what's going on inside of you. This is important because you can't control what's going on in the outside world. You only have control over your inner world and how you react and respond to these things. If someone you know does or says something that makes you feel angry, frustrated, insecure, or jealous, that's something you're responsible for and you need to figure out how to get over it and what's going on inside you so you can improve it. I believe that we can all get better at anything we do. Tatiana, my girlfriend, is obviously very pretty, and people approach her all the time. When we go out in public, you get approached almost every day, and a lot of people look at her and stare at her. Even online, people leave comments, and she's also an online influencer, so she gets a lot of DMs and inappropriate things from guys. I think the first thing is to have confidence in yourself. When you're sure of who you are and what you're worth, these things don't bother you as much. I know that sounds a little bit egotistical, but I think there's a difference between confidence and arrogance. I'll explain what I mean by that. I know it sounds arrogant, but I think there's no better person on the planet for her than me, and I'm sure she feels the same way. We feel like we have a soul connection that will last forever. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Maybe there is someone better for both of us, but that belief gives us the power to make our relationship work. It gives us confidence, certainty, and security in our relationship. One easy way to figure out what you're worth is to make a list of what makes you valuable, why you're special, and what you can offer your partner that no one else can. When you really know this and understand what you're worth, you'll know what to do with yourself. Most of the time now, you don't live in fear or scarcity. Instead, you have an abundance mentality that says, there are plenty of fish in the sea, and if one doesn't work out, there's another one around the corner. I think that having a confident mindset is something you create yourself, and I also think that's been the result of doing exactly what I've told you guys to do, which is to figure out if you do have a reaction, what that fear or belief is that's making you feel that way, and then overcome it. There are a million different self-improvement strategies, techniques, and things you can do for that, but the most important thing is to keep doing that and understand it. Maybe you haven't forgiven someone yet because they broke your heart, cheated on you, lied to you, or whatever, but you have to realize that the past doesn't equal the future. Just because something happened a year, five years, or 10 years ago, you can't keep living your life in the past. You have to learn to be emotionally secure and confident in yourself, and as you grow, small things like that don't matter as much. So first, I'd say to have faith in yourself, and I'm sure Stefan gets just as many inappropriate messages as I do, but he's a man, and men have needs. I think a big need for a lot of men is variety and sevens in a committed relationship, but as a man, he might be attracted to another woman while we're out, or he might even want to be with someone else, and I could easily get jealous over something like that. But I understand that it's a need, and I'm so sure of our relationship that it doesn't make me feel jealous. There's so much trust between us that if I see him interested in someone else or even just looking at someone else, it doesn't hurt me or affect me in any way. I think that if any desires are to be taken seriously, they would be communicated in the relationship. When you have that kind of really great trust, you can communicate anything without worrying about being turned down. For example, one thing Tony Robbins teaches is that there are six human needs, certainty, variety, significance, love, growth, and contribution. Certainty is a very important one because if your level of certainty in a relationship is a 2, 3, 4, or 5 on a scale of 1 to 10 and you're not very sure, you don't have that security, trust, or connection, then these things will affect you a lot more. 
But when you have level 10 certainty in a relationship, you tell each other that this person will be in your life forever. This person knows that they are a part of you and you are a part of them. You don't really question it that much. You don't have those fears, those doubts, or those worries. That's something you have to build in a relationship. You also brought up the importance of communication. Tatiana and I have such a strong relationship that we can talk about anything. Nothing is off limits. So, if I have a certain desire, temptation, or whatever it might be, I don't feel shame, and if you do, you don't feel guilt. If I had a moment of jealousy, I would tell her about it and talk about it, knowing that she wouldn't get mad and say, what are you talking about? You weren't, but having a safe place where I could say whatever I wanted. When you talk about things and express them in a safe place, you forgive each other, which makes your relationship stronger. So you don't have to worry as much about those things as they come up. From a woman's point of view, if he came to me and said, Tatiana, I've been feeling attracted to other women lately, and I said, oh my gosh, how dare you? I do everything for you. And started yelling at him and causing an argument, he's not going to stay with me. That's when people go behind your back or don't trust you, so I think it's important to realize, okay, it's how I react to what's being said right now, it's how I'm reacting to the situation. It's not what's happening, it's how I'm reacting to it. For me, I try to remind myself that we're in a committed relationship, I love him, he loves me, we have a lot of trust. No matter what happens, let's talk about it from a place of love, not anger or resentment, and never make someone feel bad about how they feel. Like I said, he has wants and I have needs, and I shouldn't feel bad about how I feel. Talking about things builds trust, but not talking about things hurts trust. If Tatiana goes out drinking with her friends and guys come up to her and try to kiss her or do other inappropriate things, she'll come home and say, child, tell me about your experiences. She'll say things like, this guy came up to me in a coffee shop, and we'll just laugh or talk about it, but I know she's telling the truth. So, a woman or a man is like a beautiful butterfly that's landed in your hand. It's right there in her hands, and it's gorgeous and amazing. You want to cherish it, appreciate it, and protect it from the wind. You want to be with it. But what a lot of people do when they've attracted a woman or a man into their lives is they act like this, I want to be with you, but I don't want to be with you. And all these rules, you can't do this, you can't do that, where were you this weekend, where were you last night, you didn't call me back, they suffocated. If you do that, what will happen to the butterfly? It will be trapped, angry, and might even die or leave. That's the worst thing you can do when you're feeling these emotions. We have jealousy. This is what you see a lot of people do when they have this. They become too protective, too strict, and too controlling of their partner. If you don't change, they might leave you. You have to be okay with that because someone will only stay with you if they have the freedom to leave. This is very important. Tatiana is her own person. She has the right to be happy, and that's what I want for her. If she'd be happier with someone else than with me, I'd want that for her. If you're happier with someone else, I won't get in the way of your happiness. I want you to be happy, and I want her to be happy, too. So when you're not trying to control things as much, you're not trying to control the outcome, and you just let yourself have an abundance mindset and love, support, and trust, it can be scary sometimes, but the benefits are worth it. Because, as the saying goes, it's better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. You have to be willing to take that risk, and I agree with what you said about Stefan being his own person. We don't tell each other, you can't do this, you can't do that. I've been in relationships where that was the case, you can't wear this, you can't look like this, you can't stay up past this time. That was very limiting, and that's when the butterfly first fell. And the same goes for men. When you tell a man he can't do something or that you don't want him to do something, he doesn't want to be told what to do. This is especially true in a relationship, where, as we've talked about, you and your partner should both be growing all the time. We are always learning new ways to improve our relationship and ourselves, and when you have that level of trust and confidence in your relationship and your partner, it just makes life so much easier. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for daily updates. See you tomorrow.